I've battled the man flu and back-to-back 12-hour -back shifts since my live stream of this gameplay reveal, but I finally had the chance to sit down and go through this footage a hundred times, and I picked out the four most important details you might have missed. In a world where details make the difference and every move matters, Grey Zone Warfare brings to light features you didn't know you needed. From groundbreaking shoulder switching mechanics to the breathtaking realism of a war torn Le Mans, we're diving deep into the details that set this game apart. Fire in the hole. Now, the first feature that you might have missed is the ability to switch shoulders with your rifle. This was introduced in Tarkov this year, however the functionality is rare in tactical games, making this an awesome feature from the start. This is going to aid in minimising the target size during those awful left hand peaks. Now let's talk about the visual die for the future of Grey Zone Warfare. Some of these standout visual elements for me was the sight of trees bending as little birds approach, or the level of details in the shadows like on his backpack right now, and even the ricochet sparks flying off objects in contact. Moving on to the health system displayed in the UI, we catch a glimpse of features like toxicity and radiation. In previous videos, we spoke about the lore and a mysterious event that occurs in Le Mans. With the developers drawing inspiration from Roadside Picnic and Stalker, and the addition of these health effects, I'd assume the event is similar to Stalker with a radiation disaster at Ground Zero, which we also caught a glimpse of that here. The fourth aspect worth noting is the game's audio particularly a voice line that plays when an enemy is alerted. It sounds authentically Laotian. Laotian? Laotian? I'm not sure how to say that. A detail that resonates with me personally after spending time in Vietnam. It's my understanding that the developers employed authentic Lao voice actors. So just another aspect that shows they're creating a game as authentic as possible. However, there are a few aspects that didn't quite meet my expectations. Firstly, the AI behavior sometimes felt a little unrefined. Considering this is a pre-alpha release, improvements are anticipated, but the tactical depth of the AI will need to be enhanced for a truly immersive PVE experience, which seems to have a lot of people excited for this game. Now, regarding the ammo count, it seems somewhat unnecessary. A more approximate indication of ammo levels such as half full or nearly full would maintain more of an element of realism, but I'm just being a little picky now. Another feature I really wanted to see in this gameplay is VoIP. Hearing characters interact with each other ideally through voice effects that mimic a soldier's SPR, this would have added a layer of depth to the in-game communication. Now my biggest gripe was not seeing the looting mechanics. The ability to loot bodies or crates or just interact with the environment in a meaningful way would have been a welcome addition to see in the gameplay. That's all we got for today. Don't forget to check out some other Grey Zone videos for more information. I'm Timmy Tenders, stay tactical, and I'll see you in the Grey Zone.